Hey guys, <laughs> welcome to this vlog. Okay, today, um, it's gonna be a very long day. It's about nine o'clock right now, nine o'clock in the morning. I'm headed to New York very soon, okay? I haven't even packed. <laughs> Let me tell you how, how procrastinating procrastinating if that's if that's a word um if it's not a word it's a word now let me tell you how much i've procrastinated okay i'm leaving in just a couple of hours uh i'm leaving around my bus leaves from a whole nother city <coughs> at three o'clock and it's 9 a.m right now um i went to go work out and i went to go eat and i did a, a bunch of stuff you know i woke up really early today thinking that i would just you know get into packing but your boy decided to go for a run and do all this other stuff, you know, start cleaning off tables. He ain't got no business cleaning off. Um, so I <laughs> haven't packed at all yet. So I'm going to procrastinate more by trying to make a video. I wanted to just come and say that I'm, I'm heading to New York. So I'll be filming that entire experience. But first I wanted to come to you guys because I don't know if you, you know, okay. I don't know if you've checked the description of this channel uh but it says natural hair okay which my hair that the hair is here the hair is here despite my hairline kind of fading uh we ain't gonna talk about that or maybe we will okay maybe, maybe if you want to hear about my hairline fading uh uh <coughs> say so in the comments <laughs> I don't know. It also says shenanigans, which we do a lot of shenanigans here on Will on a Whim, but it also says travel, okay? And I think that I have a lot of, I don't have a lot of experience traveling. Well, I have a lot of domestic travel experience. I've traveled a lot in the U.S. along the East Coast, but I don't have too much experience traveling abroad, um, but I did make a trip, okay? I took a whole trip to Europe by myself. <laughs> on a whim hence will on a whim i literally went off to europe by myself i stayed there for a month okay and i had no clue your boy had no clue what he was doing um but i learned a lot okay from that experience um and that's what i'm going to be talking about today i want to be talking about um what i learned um in terms of packing packing is like an essential skill Okay, if you want to be, if you don't want to be looking a hot mess, okay, when you're traveling, <laughs> when you're walking through the streets with your bags. When I was going to Europe, I made the mistake of taking like a gigantic suitcase. I was there for a month, but traveling alone in Spain, okay, with a huge suitcase, I literally went to Jay-Z Penny's and I was like, I need the biggest one. <laughs> Somebody point me to the biggest one and I, and I bought it, which was one ridiculous because huge pieces of luggage, if they're not crappy, are likely to be very expensive and your boy ain't got that cash money okay funny story that luggage that i actually bought for like way too much money broke and the airport gifted me like this <laughs> this this new one um which is actually pretty nice and it's, it's a bit smaller but it's definitely a bit sturdier so that was a blessing in disguise uh so i actually have some tips I have paper. I can I'm prepared today. I have some tips uh, on how to travel, specifically in the context of traveling to New York in the winter. So let's get started, shall we? All right, so first things first, it's winter time. So you're going to need to not play around, okay? I know you wanna look cute in the, with these fall fashions in New York, but honey, uh, forecast is telling me 50, 45, 30, like. <laughs> So you need to not look cute, okay, with things like this, which is this cute bomber I got from Savers. Um, if you don't know about Savers, Savers is a thrift shop. They usually have a lot of good things in stock. Um, and so I got this like cute little bomber along with tons of other jackets. I like continue to buy jackets for whatever reason. Um, but I got this cute bomber and it's very thin, okay? This is like, I could wear this in the summertime. This is not gonna work. Okay, in that brisk brick city chill over there in New York City. Um, so you can throw this out, okay? You can throw that right on out and replace it with something that's a little thicker. Like this, okay? So this is a cute, stylish little jacket that I actually got in Spain. <laughs> it was hot in Spain when I was when I went there. All their winter stuff was like on sale. So I got this cute thick up jacket, okay? It's, it was thick up. I love it and it's like if you can dress it up you can dress it down it has cute detailing or whatever so you can actually be cute and warm all right in new york city ba, 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 da, da. so next thing you're going to need is a scarf okay scarves come in handy for a multitude of reasons um honestly truly one they can be cute 
all right but two they actually warm your neck which is an essential i've learned an essential part of your body to keep warm i've tried to be cute out here with no scarf just you know just a jacket and a hat um and some gloves maybe if i'm if i'm feeling frivolous but really you need a scarf okay so uh, this is one that I got, I think, from Forever 21. Not online. I don't think I got this. No, I didn't get this online. I actually got this, like, after, right after Christmas. Okay, that's when you shop, okay? I got this right after Christmas in the actual Forever 21 store. And it was in the women's section. Like, ugh, I'm tired of gendering, like, like things like this. You don't need to gender a, a black scarf. Like, come on. This part is just honestly ridiculous. But I found this in the ladies section and it was like a good five bucks. So I hopped on it. It's huge. Do you see it? Can you see it? Oh. Voila. I'm warm out here in these New York cities. <laughs> All right, so let me take this off because God bless. It's, to it's, oh, it's toasty in this house. Honestly, I think I'm allergic to something in that scarf because every time I wear it, like my eyes start to itch. Next up, I have this coat, okay? This is also a really nice coat. I got this from JCPenney's on a huge sale. Okay, they had like a 50% off, a 50% off, a 50% off sale. And I got this jacket for like 30 bucks um, when it was like originally like 300. Um, <laughs> which I don't, I don't think it's like worth $300 anyway. I could never bring myself to purchase a $300 jacket. So I picked this up because it was, I lived in Providence, Rhode Island. And I don't know if you guys know, have heard about homegirl, <laughs> homegirl Providence, um, but she attacks you in the winter time. She will throw snow at your face, okay? So you need to have like a hoodie, right? A nice hoodie that can protect you from the wind and whatever else that comes your way. I don't, New York sometimes gets a bit you know what I mean. Like, New York can, you know, you just gotta be protected <laughs> out there. This jacket is a beaut, okay? She is a beaut. Beautiful color, okay? It's serving me, serving me rouge. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all it's serving me. So, get you a jacket with a hoodie. <laughs>